big SAP TechEd announcement today was the release of SAP Build, branded a unified low-code offering empowering SAP users of all skill levels to create enterprise apps, automate processes, and design business sites with drag-and-drop simplicity. SAP Build is a combination of enhanced versions of SAP Build apps, what was formerly known as SAP AppGyver, SAP Build Process Automation, which includes the former Workflow Management and IRPA, and SAP Build WorkZone, a unification of SAP Launchpad Service and SAP WorkZone. Among the key enhancements, the SAP Build Lobby, a single place to create all your low-code artifacts from apps to processes to work sites. And a key feature of the SAP Build Lobby is that it lets you share your artifacts so you can collaborate on apps, processes, and sites with your colleagues. Visual Cloud Functions, enabling you to create data entities and server-side business logic so you can build full-stack apps. API-based triggers for SAP build processes, meaning that processes can be triggered by an API call and not just with a form. At the same time, SAP build apps supports destinations for REST calls, enabling an SAP build app to easily and securely trigger a process. And actions, which let IT package API calls so business users can incorporate them in their processes. We'll link to the full announcement in the description. Hi everyone, great news. The SAP Business Application Studio got a major update and now uses Code OSS, the open source project that is also used to build Visual Studio Code. This comes with some great benefits. The overall dev experience improved and one of the highlights is that you can now use extensions from the VS Code Marketplace in the Business Application Studio. And of course, the Business Application Studio now benefits from Visual Studio Code's updates too. Check out the blog post linked below to learn more about it. What a great keynote that was given by Jürgen and the other developer advocates. For me, as the Apple Technologies Advocate here at SAP, the highlight was the great emphasis of our amazing relationship with Apple. The adoption of the SAP BTP SDK for iOS, building beautiful, native app experience for our customers and colleagues all around the world. It is wonderful to see new capabilities being built as I'm speaking right now. And we already got concurrency support for Swift within the SDK, a complete new visual language, great new theming capabilities to make apps fit your brand, and of course, accessibility improvements to further enhance the experience for all users out there. You can try out the SDK and all its capabilities today by visiting developers.sap.com and follow some of our getting started tutorials.